Referee James Owens blows the full-time whistle. Limerick, All-Ireland champions, become the first Munster County to reach four successive All-Ireland finals since Cork 2003-2006. There was a lot of occasions during the course of the Munster Championship where it didn't look very likely that we were going to be where we are right now. So you no, know, we've we've had our backs to the wall for periods of time, and we've had to work extremely hard. But you know, very proud of the lads' efforts to to get themselves to this point and to have given themselves this opportunity. But there were times where we just needed to show great composure, not panic, and just keep grinding out each play, if you like, and each score. So I think we showed great composure, and I think you know the depth of the group. I think too was well tested. You know, we picked up a good few injuries along the way, and. I think leadership really within the player group, you know, came to the fore as well throughout that campaign. So very proud of the lads. Well, I think when you take over a job, I think it's important. I think you obviously you bring your own personality to it, and by even doing that, it's different from what's been there before. And like Brian has drove obviously very high standards for a number of years, and I wouldn't be even going to compare myself to someone like that and what he's achieved. But I think uh, you have to go in with the job, make sure the standards are high, create a really good environment, and I think that's what you're. That's what you're hoping to do along with your backroom team, you know. So, um, you know, I have a fantastic team with me. Like I said, Peter Barry, Connor Field, and Michael Rice, Peter O'Donovan, all top class people, uh, very good at what they do. And, um, you know, it's our job to make sure that we have a really good environment. I mean, one thing you're looking for as a manager is to kind of put good standards in place and maintain the high standards that have been there before. And um, I think that was uh, the ultimate goal. And obviously then, from a results point of view, everybody, you're looking to be in the last two, you're looking to win the Ireland final. And, you know, thankfully we're there. I think we've improved as the year has gone on. Always you're looking forward and we'll need that improvement again. All right. Up front are looking well. Nice ball inside to Carl Mannion. Inside the 13, he's going to go for it! Yeah. Fantastic! A cracking goal! We were asked some very big questions by Galway in the, in the first half there, 20 minutes in. We were struggling to get our hands in the ball maybe and struggling to deal with their puck out. And to be fair to the lads on the pitch, you know, they, they managed to, to figure it out and to, you know, get on top and find a way of, of actually dealing with it. Um, you know, I think that, that comes from a lot of experience too. You know, they've been in that position for so many occasions now. And I suppose the coaching is the other part of it. Then they're encouraged within the, the coaching to, you know, problem solve. And I think that gives them that added armory, if you like, being out on the pitch that they can actually problem solve on the hoof. The crossbar! Oh my word, it's still there! The drama! 16 end. In Kilkenny, it's something that's really important to us that you know we leave everything out there on the pitch. And I think um, you know, as any manager or any coach of a team, that's what, always what you're looking for for a team to give you know to come off the field knowing that you've given everything. I think that's really important. And it's easier said than done. It's easy for me to say that players have to go onto a pitch and do that. Killian Buckley, he can win it for Kilkenny. He may have done so. We have a group of outstanding characters, to be honest, lads who've, you know, huge experience, some lads who've only got, you know, a few months experience, if you like. You know, they give everything every time they go out, and that's really important. What a conclusion here! It was something that you couldn't script, to be honest, with you how to end a game, because it was essentially over. Normally you'd have to defend a puck out or something, but the whistle blew. And I think that's where you saw probably the emotion from everybody at the end of it, the celebrations. And, you know, that was great. I think it was spontaneous and it just happened. And, um, and that's what sport's all about. I mean, especially when you're on the right side of it. You have to celebrate it. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, all senses go out the window. And um, it, it was a, an incredible kind of moment for us as a team as well and as a group, I think, to, to get over the line. Because we've had some challenges with injuries and things like that. And you kind of put your belief in the squad. And it, that was a really... You know, the performance that day and the last day was really about the 20 players that came on and more importantly, the lads have been pushing those lads then away from the scene on the training pitch. Four in a row for Kilkenny, their 75th title. Look, to be on the right side of those wins is really important because, you know, you leave yourself with a lot of challenges and can leave you with doubts, it can leave a lot of things and I think um, more importantly, the Leinster final afforded us a four-week break and um, to prepare for a semi-final and, you know, we got a lot of work in. Now it's the All Ireland final. It's about making sure we perform at that one. Kilkenny are Kilkenny, like it, you know, because it's last year and this year, they're not going to change. Like they, they work extremely hard. Uh, they have very, very talented players. 
you know, they have a goal, an eye for goal always as well. You know, they have that, that intent is always there. And, you know, with a player like TJ as well and on the freeze, you know, he's unerring. They have real, real toughness in, in their mentality and in their approach. And, you know, I credit him for, for developing that over the years. And, you know, we know that this will be a huge challenge for us. But again, we, we, we're just going to relish taking that challenge on. Um, and I suppose a lot of that challenge is on ourselves too, to be the best team that we can be on the day and bring what we can to the table. Dara Donovan laying it off for his Keane Lynch on the turn. Ball is wide. Third wide of the match for the All-Ireland champions. You just don't want to leave it there afterwards and say, you know, we just had too many wides. Just, you know, we can't have that. So we're just going to have to work really hard on that. They're an outstanding team. And I mean, as a supporter of Hurling, you'd, you know, you'd have to stand back and admire them. But, you know, that's a great challenge for us now ahead. You know, while we admire them, we don't fear them. Uh, it's a game that we'll be going to attack and take them on. And, you know, they'll expect that too. I think as a team, from my perspective, we're definitely improving. We've improved the squad, and I think we're only going to get better. Very, very fortunate that my parents are still going to matches and enjoying, you know, being, being part of what's going on. Uh, they've had great days, and all of our families go. My wife's family go as well. So it's a big day out, and they're having the time of their lives. They're probably watching me, all right, and worrying about me, but uh, I think ultimately, you know, they, they like to leave me my, to my own devices. They know I have my own routines. I hope that they'll be all able to go on the day and enjoy it and offer their support to the team. Life goes on and, um, you know, I have three kids at home and uh, they all have their own games to play between now and then, probably four or five, I'd say, if not more. So that'll be the, that'll be the priority in the next few nights. I'm actually going to a game there now. So, um, oh, look, life goes on. You get on with things and work is busy as well. But um, all the time, look, it's on the back of your mind. You're thinking, you know, thinking ahead. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. I'm, I enjoy that.